Hi, this is Donna. Just wanted to stop by today and show you how to make this little card. This is a little quick and easy card. It's white on white. It's very simply elegant, I think. And uh, this would be a great card if you've got someone ill in your family or you just want to send someone to let them know that you're thinking about them. So today, and to get started with this, I wanted to show you we're going to start out with a standard 5x7 uh, blank card. You're also going to need a little piece of cardstock that's five and three quarters by three and a half. I'm going to use my cuddle bug today, so I need a cuddle bug folder. Some stays on ink and just some little clear stamps. Also, I have cut out uh, three little eggs and you can make them into ovals or circles or whatever you want. I cut these little eggs out on my Cricut and I used the new Easter 2010 and has this little uh, Easter egg on there that you can cut out and you can use the uh, blackout feature on it. So that makes it easy but you can also always cut them out with your scissors. So to get started today um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the cuddle buck. We're going to Boss. I'm going to turn this around so you can see. I'm taking that little piece of cardstock that's five and three quarters by three and a half. I'm going to put it in the cuddle bug folder. I really like this one. It's kind of a paisley. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, if you want the part that you want embossed, you want to have it straight up and down. I'll slide it into the folder like that. If you've not used a cuddle bug before, it's real easy. It has three plates. There's an A plate a B plate, another B plate, uh, the, use the embossing folder, don't push it in too far, then the other B plate. And then you're just going to pull that, roll that through, take it out, put this up, okay, and then you have your embossed paper in here, take that out, Love the cuddle bug. You can do so many things with it. And if you can see that paper right there, it's got lots of embossing on it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our paper punch. I'm going to punch in two holes right up here at the top. One right beside each other. We're going to take a piece of ribbon, approximately 12 inches long. We're going to just simply thread that through there. Sometimes that's easier said than done. Okay, pull that through. Tie a little bow. Don't pull too tight so you don't tear the cardstock. Okay. There we go. Here we are. I'm going to trim the uh, edges off of these a little bit with my scissors. And I may trim it again here in a few minutes with, um, if I need it a little shorter. Okay, you're going to take some pop dots like this. And we're going to put them on the back. You're going to use four of them. Take those off. Try to get these on there just as quick as possible for you. Okay, and one more. Okay. Now the easy way for this, we're going to look at our card, make sure it opens in the right direction. I'm going to put this almost to the top. I want to leave enough room to stamp my words at the bottom. I'd hear that with the pop dots. Put that on there. Push down on it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our little eggs. I have three of these little eggs and the first and I use stays on ink because stays on ink works on about anything these are little peel on peel on stamps I just kind of put them down and give them a little twist I love the clear because you can see where you're putting them I'm putting one on the first egg peel that one off I only have one of the acrylics for this one put that little one on do it again a bit more and I'm putting that one right there in the middle. See how plain the, the stays on ink is. It does make a difference. Okay, then I have this little bird stamp. Stamp him on right here in the middle. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Make sure you put the lid on your ink. 
because if you don't it will um, dry out. Okay and on the back of these little eggs I'm going to put one of the stickers, the pop dots. Okay. This is really a quick card. It only takes, once you get it all taken out, if you weren't videoing it, you could probably put this together in less than five minutes. It's very, very quick. Okay. Now I've got the pop dots on here. I'm going to start out with my bird because I want it in the middle. So I'm just going to place him right in there. Then I'm going to put one of the flowers over here on this side, leaving a little bit of space. And the last one's going to have a flower on this side. See how cute that is? It's a little crooked. There we go. Okay, then the last thing we do is I got the Thoughts and Prayers stamp. Going to ink us up. Get this really good. It's got a piece of paper on there. Okay, Thoughts and Prayers is going to go right here on the bottom. And I didn't do quite as well there as I might have wanted to. Um, so here's a little Thoughts and Prayers. And now the next thing we want to do and is don't forget to embellish your envelope. Did you know you had to pay more if you had an if you had an envelope that needed embellished? You have to pay more for those in the store. So let's just do that. I'm going to put three of these little flowers on here. Don't forget the front. Turn the envelope over and let's just put that little bird right here on the front. So now all of this coordinates together. And right down here on the corner. Okay. That's it. That's my quick and easy card for you tonight. Thoughts and prayers. Send this to someone you love and see how that all coordinates together. Thanks for watching my videos and if you want more information go to djcreationsonline.com and see about some of my online painting classes. Thank you.